Let's say that someone is currently a more generalist software engineer and wants to explore one of these two paths, either machine learning, as you had described it, or the data scientist, data science route. How do you see that transition happening? What do they need to focus on? Is it a transition you see that's common? And what have you seen as a successful transition from more of a generalist like software engineer into one of these more specialized fields? I'd say the most common transition that I see is someone who's working on back-end software engineering, especially things that have to do with data already, starting to become more and more involved with machine learning models, uh, probably initially via the route of working on data that's utilized to feed machine learning models or systems that are utilized to serve machine learning models, and then getting closer and closer iteratively to training and deploying the models themselves, which is really the kind of most machine learning centric component of the process. Although I'd highlight that all of these are parts that are equally important, often equally compensated and equal opportunity for impact in each of these different areas of the machine learning life cycle. But serving features to machine learning models and deploying machine learning models are things that do not require a tremendous amount of knowledge of how the models were trained to begin with or how the models are evaluated. And the most difficult parts there really are distributed systems, software engineering. I see that as a very common entry point for people with software engineering backgrounds looking to develop themselves more in the machine learning and artificial intelligence spaces. If you enjoyed this clip, make sure you watch the entire video, which has a lot more content just like this. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of our episodes where we talk to leaders in the tech industry, from software engineers to product managers to engineering managers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the notification bell.